get to work, 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 work. Let's get to work, 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 work. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. Today I'm going to talk to you about how old habits won't create new results. Look, this video, I'm telling you, it will set you up for this weekend and get you ready to kill it. Some of you guys may get a little uncomfortable because what I'm gonna do and what I've done, and I've never done it this way, but I thought, man, you know what? Let's just go through these one by one. And if our future is honestly everything, let's slow down and really think about it for a second. I mean, let's not rush through this video. I wanna tell you, successful people are doing this. But on the other side, as I go through what successful people do, I'm gonna tell you what unsuccessful people do as well. And I want you to identify who you are, where you're at. And this is an opportunity for us to fill these holes where money is leaking, stop it, and start making more money. Before we get into this video, do me a favor. I do sales training videos every day. I do them for free for you guys. Why? Because I love you. I wanna build the best salespeople in the country. I got your back. I don't care if no one else has your back or everyone else has your back. If you have multiple sources of training that you use in your company, I will be an extra source of training for you. I promise you, I train right now in 2020 dealerships all over the United States, and I can teach you how to become one of the best salespeople in the country, okay? I know that because my advice works because I use it every day, and the people that I train tell me that they're growing and making more money every single day. So with that being said, would you guys please give me a thumbs up on this video, stop for just a second, have some gratefulness and just say, hey, boom, Andy, there's your thumbs up. Hit me a comment. Andy, I appreciate you. Whatever it is, I don't care. Give me a thumbs up and a comment. That helps me with my YouTube algorithm to meet and uh, introduce myself to more people who need, who need sales training and want to go to the next level, okay? So uh, number one, I'm grateful for you. And number two, let's start jamming out, okay? So what I'm going to do is every time I go through one of these, I'm going to unfold this over here and let's just go step by step. Pause the video for a second. If you want to get a pen and piece of paper and then write this down, if you see something you like, or just watch the video. And then when we're done, rewatch it again and go through it. This is going to strike some of you successful people. And I'm talking, you guys need to have a millionaire mindset. Okay. I've always learned this a long time ago and sorry about getting into this. But I was taught at a very young age from Grant Cardone when I was 18. He said something that really resonated with me and helped me a lot. It was, if you treat somebody like a millionaire, they'll spend like a millionaire. If you treat somebody like a billionaire, they'll spend like a billionaire. If you treat somebody like they're broke, they'll spend like they're broke. So as I'm talking to you, I want to destroy any middle class mindset that you have and get rid of it. And I want you guys to think big. I want you guys, instead of being okay with being good, I want you to be great. I want you to understand that the average are doomed in the car business. And what happens? When we elevate our game to the next level, we're gonna make more money than ever because some people and most people are just fine with being average. But the market's there for the taking and we're in the best business in the world. So as you watch this, if there's something you're not doing, write it down, let's take action and let's move forward right now. All right, so check this out. Hey guys, it's Andy. I'm going to be giving away a couple beach vacations, lots of free content. Make sure you're following me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You guys, have a great day and don't miss some of this great stuff coming out. Successful people, what do they do? They read every single day. Did I say for how long? Nope. They read for every day. If you're not reading every day, start off with five minutes a day. Let's talk about what unsuccessful people do. Watch TV every day. Look, look at that. Watch TV every single day. The time that you're spending watching TV, you could be reading, self-educating yourself and taking yourself to the next level in life. All right, let's go to the next one. What do successful people do? They compliment. Successful people always compliment other people. Why? Because it comes from a state of gratitude. They're, they're happy. They love it. If you watch the news, you can choose to see good or bad. Successful people always see the good and they compliment people when they see things they like. What do unsuccessful people do? They criticize. They don't compliment. They criticize. Audit yourself at this time. Think what, about where you're at. Successful people, they embrace change. That means they're willing to change. What do unsuccessful people do? Fear change. 
Unsuccessful people fear change. They don't want to change. Successful people, they embrace it. They're ready for it. They know that it's coming. It's inevitable. We're in the car business and this market is changing every single six months. Guess what? With that being said, if you'll embrace it, you're going to be successful. If you fear it, you're not going to make it, okay? So if you fear that, guess what? Get the training, kick it. Get rid of it. All right, successful people forgive others. What do unsuccessful people do? They hold a grudge. Look, that grudge doesn't do anything for you. Just puts you in a bad mood. And if you're in a bad mood, are you going to sell a lot of cars? No. All right. Talk about ideas. Successful people always talk about ideas, taking them to the next level. What do unsuccessful people do? It's real easy. They talk about people. Unsuccessful people always talk about other people. Guys, you got your life. Who cares about anyone else's life, right? You take care of your life. Anytime, and audit your circle right now, by the way. It's not just about auditing your life, but how many people do you have around you that talk about people? If you do, can them as friends because they are going to lead you over here even if you want to be here. You'll be an average of the five people you're around the most. So, they continually learn. Okay, what do unsuccessful people do? And this may be one of my favorites right here. Unsuccessful people think that they know it all. Guys, you know the guy I'm talking about, right? I talked to a guy the other day. He hits me up. He says, hey, man, I've been training. For, I mean, I'm sorry. I've been selling cars for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? I thought I'd just reach out to you. I'm like, man, I'm grateful. Dude, so you've been doing this for a decade. That's awesome. Um, what are you struggling with? He's like, oh, I'm really not struggling with anything. I just love your video. So I wanted to reach out and say hi. I'm like, awesome, dude. Okay. Um, what is it that I can help you with? Man, I really don't need any help. Honestly, I'm, I'm destroying it. I'm killing it. Okay, great, man. Um, so what did you end up making last year? 70 grand. What's the most you ever made in the car business? 70 grand. Okay, was, was last year your, last, your, your best year? No, I've made about 70 grand for the last seven, eight years that I've sold cars. So I've been able to maintain and be consistent. Guys, I didn't want to be rude, but that guy had flatlined. His heart had died. Okay, seven years ago, right, when he had made 70,000, he should have made the next year 90,000. And then the next year, 120,000. And then the ne and, and those are just not even talking about giant growth spurts. The fact that he's on his seventh year right now, he should be talking about, yeah, Andy, I'm at 220,000, and I've grown every year since the last seven years at 70,000. And Andy, I do understand my job pretty well, but I want to go to the next level. Andy, can you tell me how to get to 220 to 300? Look, let me ask you this. Does he spend his time at work? Yes. Does he trade his time for money? Yeah. Am I asking him to trade more time for less money, more money? No, I'm saying this. How about he gives less time now that he's been doing it 10 years, spends some more time with his family, and gets more money? But guess what happens? They're comfortable. So with that being said, think that they know it all. I see this all the time. You guys can continue to elevate your game constantly. I'm not saying he's not going to have a bad month here and there, but guess what? He should keep doing this, okay? High achievers continually to go up. And even if they get set back, they grind for it and they go for it again. We don't have to work more, more hours. We just got to be smarter and work smarter. All right. So accept responsibility. Successful people always accept responsibility for their failures. If I win, it's my fault. If I lose, it's my fault. What do unsuccessful people do? They blame others for their failure, right? It's not my fault. The car was, wasn't clean. It wasn't dirty. You, you could have got it clean before you showed it. The customer, they didn't have the credit to buy. You could have pulled a cosigner. Listen, whether you win or you lose, it's your fault, okay? They, they wanted to be at 300 a month. You could have been better skilled at negotiating. You could have bumped into 500. Listen. You're not an order taker and you're in a tour guide. And if you are, you have to get out of that stage immediately. And by the way, the quickest way to learn and grow and to take your life to the next level in your family's life, in your future, is by stop blaming others for your failures. Take full responsibility for all failures. And by the way, when you fail, you win. Because the most successful people in this world have won the most from their losses, not from their wins. So when you lose, that's where you really win. All right? So... Have a sense of gratitude. Successful people always have a sense of gratitude. Listen, if I'm not going to be happy until I make a lot of money, I'm never going to make a lot of money. Guys, when I was dead broke and I had nothing, I still felt rich. 
Why? I'm healthy, okay? I don't have cancer. If I had cancer today, do you know what I'd do? I would trade all the money I had just to be healthy again. So if I'm sitting here healthy and I don't feel rich, man, how am I ever going to get money and become rich? How am I ever going to have a great life and ask for more if I'm not grateful for what I already have? Okay? So you have to have a sense of gratitude at all times. I'm not telling you every day is going to be a perfect day, but you'll have more good days than bad days. Okay? With that being said, what do unsuccessful people have? They have a sense of entitlement. Man, I've been working here for 10 years. They're not paying me more money. What do you mean? You're not earning more money. Show me your gross. I have people say, I've been here for five years and they haven't paid me anymore. Do you work at McDonald's? Are you a manager? Are you in sales? They were hoping that you would put up more gross by now so they could pay you more money. And by the way, when you put up more gross, then you can go in and ask for more percentage. Then you can go in and ask for more because you're doing more. But if you're not doing more, can you ask for more? No. But with the sense of entitlement, guess what? That right there is what is what's killing guys. So if you're seeing one of these, I'm not hating on you. Listen to me. You find a problem and you fix it. And that way we can live our best life now and be fulfilled and move from today forward crushing it, okay? Lastly, successful people set goals and develop life plans. And by the way, anytime that a lot, that there's a plan, whether it's a, a one month plan, a one week plan, a one year plan, and a three year plan. By the way, I don't set plans longer than three years. I, I don't because I can't control that, okay? I don't know what the market's gonna look like in three years. I don't know what's gonna happen. I always say, people always talk about 10 year goals. I'm like, shit, man, I mean, I'm 40. That, that means I'm 50? Listen, three year goals. That's about my goal. I get it, maybe you have a five year, but I set one week, one month, and then quarterly goals. Those are things that I can manage right now and actually reflect and move and change. Now, unsuccessful people, what do they do? They never set goals. You may tell me you have goals, okay? And you may say, well, Andy, I've got goals. You do? Cool. Show me them. Show me where you wrote them down. Show me in the last week every place that you wrote those goals down, right? And how you've kept those goals in front of you. Go in the bathroom where you brush your teeth, right? And let me see the little deal on the mirror that's hanging up that says, hey, these are my goals. Those are goals. In the rearview mirror on your car when you drive, those are your goals. Okay, just like you have a picture of your kids in your wallet right now, just like you have a picture of your kids in your house, you need to have a picture of your goals. So just like you want to be reminded of the people that you love in your life, you need to be reminded of your plans because this is your life. Okay, so today I hope that this helps you guys. Remember, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment below if you love the video. Old habits won't bring new results. This is where I want you guys all to be. Let's can all of this stuff. And guys, rock and roll. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video.